Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 6. We are back on the server, um, oh, there actually are a few people, I thought I was by myself. Um, in the last episode, we, as far as I'm aware, have finished up with Twilight Forest. I believe we're currently now waiting on, you know, like a future version of Twilight Forest, which may or may, ha may, or may not happen in this mod pack at least, but um, we do have a few more trophies that we can place down from the last episode. So there's the, the Yurgast, which, ooh, this one actually looks really cool. Do any of the other ones... Wait, wait, didn't we have a Hydra head? Or do I have that on me? Hmm. Yeah, this, yeah, wait, this is the Hydra head. I feel like there's a missed opportunity there for, like, three heads, you know? Because, like, obviously we got these here. I don't know. Uh, interesting. Um, then we have the Questing Ram. There we go. This guy right here. Oh! I had no idea you could do that. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And then um, we also have this one, which I'm probably going to have to place it here. Um, if I can... Can I break this? Um, oh, God. I'm making a massive mess. Um, because it's it's uneven. What's this guy? The Night Phantom. That can go there. That looks pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Here we go. Oh, he makes a scary noise. Um, so, there they are. There are our trophies. Beautiful. Oh, you know what I realized? It's because the house isn't symmetrical at the front here. Um, hmm, how have I never noticed that before? Huh, interesting. <laughs> um, anyhow, anyhow, uh, there are a few other things we got. One of them I want to try out, and that is magic beans. We use them in the Twilight Forest. I kind of want to set them up here somewhere. I don't know where, but I do want to set them up. I, I'm thinking in the midst of all this stuff, right? Like right here, I'm going to build it, okay? We're going to see if it works at least. So I'm going to break this block here. I'm going to place down this uberous soil that you get from the Twilight Forest. And I'm going to right-click Magic Beans. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, do you think that's because there wasn't enough room for it? it that's very odd. Okay. I guess we can harvest the, the stems. Um, yeah, I, I'm guessing they don't... I'm guessing they need room, sorry, the, um, to grow. Nice, big, and tall. Um, what I might do then... Is I'll do it here. <laughs> I'll do it here, I guess. And it'll be like a um a magic beanstalk on the edge of uh on the edge of town over there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Um oh, oh that didn't really work. Bam. And bam. Oop. There we go. That's a magic beanstalk if ever I've seen one. <laughs> We've also got all these seeds, like a billion seeds to do. Um hmm, I am tempted to farm every single type of seed we just saw. What are these? What are these leaves? Beanstalk leaves! Okay, and then, yeah, just, I mean, obviously it goes right to the top, and and here it is. He is the top of the beanstalk. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, anyway. Um, so I guess that's the beanstalk taken care of. Um, there were a few other things I wanted to do. Um, one of them was actually at the B area, which I can teleport to. I just want to add a path in. It should be quick and easy. I, I've already sort of decided the blocks. I want to use pollen blocks, and then I was trying to use a black sort of block, None of them really worked, but um, concrete. Concrete worked. So, like, I tried basalt and stuff, but they didn't want to work. So, instead, we've got concrete. I ordered a bunch of concrete. We only have 700, but I ordered a million. <laughs> so, I'm not sure. Okay. It's crafting, like, a million uh, buckets, which you would think is a problem, but it's, it's not really that much of an issue, to be completely honest. Um, then, I think we're turning honey into black dye. We're making what? 125,000 black dye. <laughs> so the, the concrete might have to wait, but the rest of the stuff can at least uh, come with us. So my, my thought is we have a three by three path, like all the way, all the way through here. I right, pick up this stuff, you know, replace all this stuff um, with, um, you know, with pollen and stuff because the pollen, it's made, oh, I guess you get it from a tree. How do I have so much then? Check out this. I've got like 3000 pollen. I guess again, but the void miners get us so much stuff. I'm not sure if they still do, but at one point they were giving us everything. That's how we have so much, um, like botanical plants and stuff. We even have like, oh, look at all the wills we have. Oh my God. That's 2000 of each. That is insane. Um, what I was going to say was, um, even like some of the functioning flowers, we actually got, we, we were getting functioning flowers from, um, the mining dimension or oh, not the mining, uh, a combination of the mining dimension and I think possibly the void miner would give me us some. Um, but I think they've dis disabled those. But anyway, I think this doesn't look too... Oh, okay. 
Well, you can see I really planned out this episode. <laughs> you can fall through the blocks. Okay. Okay. Um, th there might be a workaround. Hold on. There might be a workaround, and it might be framed cubes. Right? I should be able to place these down, just like I would the normal blocks. We, we checked these out in the other episode. Oh, it doesn't work. I can't apply my pollen block to these. How disappointing. Oh, okay. Well, my, my, <laughs> my plan for that didn't work. Um, as for the rest of this episode, I'm not sure. I, I, I really, I don't really know what we're going to do. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know. I'm, I'm sure something will come up. You know what? Uh, we can use yellow wool. It, it, listen, it doesn't give the same effect, but it's, I mean, it's nice and bright. It's good for a B area, I think. So I, I think we can make it work. Um, I've just realized this is very, like these buildings are symmetrical, but these pylons are not. Um, we can reposition them though. That's fine. All right. I've just gone around and placed them like, uh, in the centers of all the chunks over there. So that should be good now. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to clear this up. I'm going to make a path. Um, and then actually I'll show you what we're going to sort of do. I'm thinking we also have it somehow go over. Oh, I just realized we can't, we can't really do like a, a yellow wool ramp, can we? Unless we had like chisel and bits. Otherwise, I, oh, yellow wool. Okay, hold on. We can. Interesting. Yellow wool stairs. Man, mods are beautiful. <laughs> um, so I should be able to do a little bit something like um, this and possibly, I mean, that's going to look weird, isn't it? But I could do this, I guess. Is that weird? Uh, it's a bit weird. Does it matter? No. Okay. Um, so the, the whole yellow wool thing, it, it didn't work out. Okay. So I used the exchanging gadget and I changed every single um, yellow wool to be this uh, honeycomb, just normal honeycomb. I, I think the honeycomb looks nice. I, I, I'm not liking, I'm not liking something. And I think it might be this, uh, the trim that I'm putting around it. But my problem is, I don't know what else to put. I don't know if there's like, if we're meant to put bricks, if we're meant to put logs even. Logs could look nice. Should we try that? I think we should. Should we try twilight oak? What's twilight oak gonna look like? Does that, what do you reckon? Would this look nice? <laughs> what are we thinking? Uh, it could, it could, you know what? It could, it could. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm feeling it. I, I am feeling it. But yeah, so my, my goal here mainly, my main goal here is to try and make this stuff look nice, okay? Because a lot of our areas, they, they function. That's like a, a thing we do is we make something that works, usually. Um, but then they usually look ugly. And I feel like just something as simple as changing the floor, like changing the blocks that are on the ground, like what we're doing here, is going to make this look like an actual place. You know what I mean? Like it'll look good as opposed to just buildings all around the joint, right? So that's my plan. I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to make a, a skirting around it. We might do that again for this episode. I know we did it previously for the, um, when we checked out McCaw's bridges. I would like to find like a, um, a certain mod that adds blocks that I haven't tried out yet. Um, I guess we, we, we I mean, we sort of did that with the chiseled, uh, wool, but then we decided that it looks hideous or at least I decided that. Um, so we'll switch to this stuff. I don't really know. Um, I, I think this, this looks all right, by the way, this, um, this setup we have with the logs and this uh, honeycomb. I think whilst the honeycomb is very bright, I think it's, um, it's, it's fitting. It's fitting for the theme. If anything, I think obviously this stuff needs to go. It's very much, it's very much changing the vibe. <laughs> um, but this stuff's going to go, I'll probably replace the glass with, um, that glass that we can walk through now because, um, now that we have these, um, where are they? These expulsion pylons, only I'm allowed in this claim, or in this chunk, sorry. If anyone else tries to enter the chunk, they get sent back to their spawn point. So I don't have to worry, hopefully, about people stealing my stuff anymore. Um, so it's just, I'll build a stair there. In fact, um, is there a honeycomb stair? That could be a problem. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There should be frame block stairs. Um, I might have to make a sawmill. Wait, wait, wait. Frame block stairs. Some of them you cry. Okay, yeah, I do have to make a sawmill. Um, what's it made with? Is it wood? The answer is yes, it is wood to make a sawmill. And then we should be able to make framed stairs. Here we go. And then the stairs, I'm hoping this works. Uh, I'll probably still want them to be back here. Um, I don't actually know. What, let's see if this looks good. So I should hopefully be able to put honeycomb in here. <gasps> How does that look? Hmm. Not too bad. 
Not the worst thing we've ever seen. I'm curious as to whether I can get away with this. <laughs> what do we think? It looks pretty dumb, but I think it works. I don't think it looks... Uh, do you, what do you reckon? Do you reckon slabs instead, maybe? I really... I don't know. I don't know. But I, I do think that we're onto something. <laughs> it looks very weird, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, we could probably even just get away with that, you know? Like, that probably looks less weird than what we had before. Hmm. I really don't know. <laughs> I really, uh, do we have any slabs? We do have frame slabs. Let's give this a try. We'll, we'll just try it out. We'll, we'll see what it looks like. Do you look weird? <sighs> you don't look too bad. In fact, honestly, what can probably solve this whole thing is if we just use slabs for all of it. Yeah, that looks very much... That looks a lot nicer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that looks very nice. Um, okay. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty happy then. All right. While we're here, let me show you um, how we can address this problem here. Because um, I've, I've used them a few times, but it's, it's probably nice to show. So if we get iron nuggets and we combine them with um, these twilight oak logs, we can get covers for uh, refined storage. You can do this with any block. Just about any block. Let's see. Yeah. So like um, tile entity blocks, I imagine you can't do it. But just about everything else, you can, you can do it. Um, so we're going to make these covers and what these covers allow us to do is place something like this. So now it's like, I'm um, hidden. Now I do wish that we could do it, um, obviously sideways, right? Like that would obviously be ideal. That was meant to be cables. Um, like I would love to be able to do it sideways. It's, it's not really looking like that's an option. You know what? I do want to try something before we, before we, I guess, just settle with that. And that is if we make, um, how do you make them? If we make Twilight Oak wood and combine this with um, an Iron Nugget, maybe, if we're lucky, but it's sort of looking like it's going to be the same. Ah, missed opportunity. Uh, but anyway, that's that's how you sort of do it. Um, once again, obviously, I wish we could flip it. If you know a way to flip it, let me know. Um, but yeah, and then the next thing we can do is if we put these covers right back in here, we can make hollow covers. Now, the hollow covers are going to... Um, essentially, oh, they're essentially going to have a hole in them, right? Um, sadly, I'm going to have to break that. Um, but if you break the, the one above it or the one below it, you can then right click on the top with, um, I think it just got collected by something. Where did it just go? Uh, I'll just make a new one. Um, you can place the hollow cover on top like so, and then the cable will actually run through it. So as you can see, look at that. Nice and flush with the ground. We can switch back to our uh, blocks and cover this up. And it looks a lot tidier than it did previously. Um, so yeah, that's just how that works, I guess. Oddly enough, it doesn't look like you can make grass covers, which I, that's a, that's a very much a surprise for me. You can make dirt covers though. It's going to look a little bit weird, isn't it? If I just have a dirt cover here. Hmm. I could just make it a, uh, a wood cover. Should I do that? Just a, probably like an actual wood cover. So like one of these ones again. I reckon that'll probably look a little bit better. It won't look as weird at least. Um, iron, this. Because like the, the problem is the grass is going to grow all around. But I don't think the grass is going to grow on the dirt cover. That doesn't really make too much sense. Uh, I can make that into a hollow one. I'm going to break the U. I'm going to place the hollow wood cover there. There we go. And eh, switch back to cables. And voila. Okay. Oh, you know what? I could have brought them in. And going down there. That could happen off camera. Because <laughs> that, that feels like a little bit messy. Um, over here, I just used uh, stairs to go up here. And I think this looks pretty nice. As for the glass, I think it's ethereal glass looks nice. Not solid to players. So I believe mobs can't go through this glass. So I can place this down. I can grab my exchanging gadget and select it. Um, I can then set the exchanging gadget to be max range connected to, uh, surface. And now it will do only this glass that's connected. And as you can see, it's going to switch. It is going to turn into um, this ethereal glass, all nicely connected. And we can now walk in. And the mobs should not be able to go out because it says not solid to players. Um, so yeah, we should be good. Um, so I can come over here, do it to this one as well. And come over here, do it to this guy, do it to these. It looks like I am going to need to grab out some more of this. Um, for some reason, it's not letting me to do all of these at once. So I guess we're going to manually select them. Um, now the connected textures might mess up here. It's possible. Um, but if they don't, we're lucky. Looks like we're lucky. So I'm going to take it. Why is it? Have I? Oh, I must have accidentally turned it down to be only um, selecting one. But there we go. That seems to be fixing it. So now obviously 
it looks like glass, but with a blue hinge, uh, or blue tinge, I guess you would say, I don't remember, I guess hinge, tinge, trim, either or, um, but there we go. Uh, this guy as well, I do need to get him set up, so I believe what we want to do is a little bit of this, and then a little bit of this, and I actually do want to go out there, and like this, and these will look nice. I am going to need more honeycomb blocks though. I think this looks very nice. Hopefully, I'm really hoping you guys agree. Um, or else <laughs> or else you're going to have to put up with it. Um, unless you have a better idea. Um, da -da 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 -da. Um, but yeah, listen, listen. We, we're definitely getting to that point in the series where like, we're, we're going to be doing stuff for fun. Unless you guys know something. As in like, um, what am I trying to say here? Um, if, if there's something you want to see specifically that I haven't gotten to yet, please do let me know. Um, because at the moment, it's, it's almost like I'm just, you know, I'm doing a victory lap around the mod pack, right? We're just going around and we're, we're prettying things up. Um, there are a few crafting things I want to do, you know what I mean? Um, but, but in the large scheme of things, there's not really, you know what I mean? So, so do let me know what you want to see out of this. Um, because the door is pretty much open. Um, some of these magic mods that are listed here, like, um, Air's Novia, I want to touch it a bit more because... We only did the bare minimum that we needed to get the ATM star, but there's a lot in here that we can check out. Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Elemental craft as well. There's some stuff. There's quite a bit of stuff in here. Like all this stuff down there, I've not touched at all. So at one point, we're going to go through there, do all that stuff. Um, mystical agriculture, I don't really touch too much because it's just, it's just bees, but not bees. You know what I mean? Or I guess bees are mystical agriculture, but... No, you, you, you get the idea. Um, you can pretty much grow everything. Everything that can be. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. But um, I, I've... Oh, God. Look at this area. What do we think? Oh, th this place needs to be uh, done up as well. So you are going to be you. Then you are going to be slabs. Oh, okay. Okay. And the inventory is a mess. All right. But there we go. We just place these down. Um, the frame blocks definitely came in handy because I think it sort of saved a lot of these like staring situations, um, which look very nice. Some of these buildings we built up one, so I had to like do a trim around it. Still don't really know if that's the best option. I could also just do like, once again, slabs or stairs or something, but it's not hideous, <laughs> I guess. Um, over here, we do actually, we do need to head down here. So I might, while we're redoing everything, you know, while we're trying to make things look nice, I might try and set this up. Because as you remember, we had this as like a little bit of a breeding area. Now, whilst it might be currently decommissioned, if we lose any bees, we're going to have to set this up again. So I'm thinking either I do stairs or we do slabs. I'm thinking it's too steep for um, slabs. So I'm going to have to do something like this. I might even switch this guy out for the blocks because... Oh, wait, no, I've already got cable selected. Um, dun, 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 dun. Well, I get... Um, uh, <sighs> Everything's ugly. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not happy with what I've just done here. Um, hold on. Hold on. How do I pull this off? All right. I'm bringing the cable around this way so that it can sort of just stay out of the way. That can go there. Then that means that all of this can be just you know stairs. Hopefully. Boom. 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 That guy's gonna have to disappear. We can clog up this hole in the wall. Um, I think that was from a challenge that we had on the server. Little spoiler there. Um. Then we'll just go down here. <laughs> um, as for the walls, I don't know. I don't know what they'll be. They'll be something. I'll tell you that much. They'll be something. They'll probably just be wood. Let's be honest. All right. I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have this stuff all, you know, running along the side as the walls. We're just going to cut it off so that it's a nice small room. Um, this is going to come this way. And it'll just be a cozy little room. That, that saves me a bit of work messing around with all these, like, uh, messy cables and stuff. Um, in terms of the messy cables, is there an easy way to hide them? Yes, that would be moving them. <laughs> um, are we going to do that? I probably should. You know what I mean? Like, I, I definitely should. As to whether we're gonna, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe. <laughs> what do you reckon? Is this... I mean, it's riding the way, isn't it? <sighs> it's fine for now. It's fine. I'm too lazy to do it. I'm gonna be honest. I'm too lazy. Um, okay, here's the deal. I'm going to grab some flowers. <laughs> I'm going to grab just a bunch of flowers and I'm going to just start placing them around on all the dirt patches that we have. For some reason that didn't want to go away. There we go. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, check out this. Do we, do we feel at least a bit happier with how it looks? I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That that's my honesty. I I'm still not sure how I feel about this. Um, but what am I trying to get? Honeycomb. Uh, on the bright side, if it is truly hideous, and you guys are like, man, you messed up. This this looks disgusting. If the, if that's true, it's as simple as just like using the exchanging gadget and switching out what we've got, like switching out the color scheme. I think it's possible that the honeycomb blocks are a bit much. It's also possible that the wood is a bit much because these are also made out of wood, like our apiaries, um, which means I should probably switch out the apiaries for a different type of block. My issue is, I don't know. I don't know what type of block. Um, I'd love some suggestions <laughs> for, for the type of blocks to do as the uh, apiary trim and walls. Um, because I think that's the problem. I think they're sort of, I think the floor could look nice, assuming that the rest of it changes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, we've also got to do like some trims around this stuff and maybe add, connect the path up here or something and then connect the path over there or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. This looks a bit weird. This needs to be sort of a little bit of that happening. There we go. Once that grows over, that should look nice. Um, the trim also might be a bit much. I'm just now realizing with all the like posts everywhere. Uh, I really don't know. I don't know how, how to feel about this. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Okay. How long have I been recording? Okay. I've been recording for a little while, but I know that a lot of it's getting cut out and that'd be a short video. What is something that we could do just real quick in this video that would be fun? You know what I mean? What's something I'm going to, I'm going to consult the, the suggestion board. Um, that's not the suggestion board. <laughs> All right. I'm back at the uh, board over here and we actually have some things we can knock off, right? The flux board, we can knock this guy off. Okay. We've, we've flux board. We've done that thing. Um, as for the, cr uh, oh, actually, sorry. That's in progress. We've, we've done it. We, we, we checked it out. So it's, it can go over into the completed section. Um, in terms of the create contraptions, that's going to be, I, I, I'm just going to send that over to the create uh, playthrough we're doing um, on the create above and beyond because I don't want to double up. So so that's in progress in terms of the other series. Um, I, I guess we're not really doing cool stuff there. We're sort of just making like, well, we are doing cool stuff, but we're not doing like, we're not just making like, ah, this contraption spins really fast, you know, um, we're doing more productive things. Um, in terms of this other stuff. Uh, have we done any of the other ones possibly accidentally? Uh, the island cleanup, I'd say that's what we're doing at the moment. That's like going around the island and, you know, cleaning things up, making the path set up. Uh, some of the structures we have, like this stuff over here, either they need to be decommissioned or, you know, fixed up and functional again. Some of them are definitely getting decommissioned. I, I, have, I have a feeling about that. Um, the Twilight Forest, we've actually, we fully, I'm going to say we've completed it. If you guys want me to do more than just the bosses, do let me know because in terms of the achievements here, I believe the bosses we've done, um, but there are some other things like, I don't know, a labyrinth of vaults, armor and mazes and cakes and doohickeys and mobs and whatever. But I'd, I'd say I'm, I'm happy with that. Like I'm, I'm finished unless you guys want more out of it. Uh, autom automate Vegemite. Um, we could do that really easily, but I feel like we want to make a factory for that. I think that could be fun. Making like a proper factory. Um, hmm. Okay. Rare, valuable items, cosmetics, ar cosmetic armor. I don't know. And the zoo stuff. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I want to do some more of the magic. In fact, a lot of this is work in progress. So we'll we'll chuck it over here on the progress board. Uh, but if you guys want to come over here and add suggestions to the boards, please do. <laughs> please do. If there's something you haven't seen me check out, please do add it. Um, one thing we can do as well is a draconic um, reactor. I think I'll have to do one, one last test in terms of with claims, but I believe there's an option to make it so that this, it's explosion isn't what you saw in the, uh, Max Infinity nuke video where it was like our entire base would be wiped out by a single nuke. Um, instead it would just be a tiny explosion. So I do want to try that out, um, at some point as for the draconic armor, we can do that. We can do that. My, my issue is I probably won't use it because every time I go into creative mode, all of the add-ons and modules I have in my armor will be deleted. So it's not really the most viable option for me. Um, draconic solar panel. I didn't realize they added these. They added, and then there's a chaotic solar panel. How much does this do? Hold on. Half a mil per tick. Okay. I mean, that's not too bad. 
Our really good uh, Envirotech. Oh, actually, that's actually really good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up. Wait a minute. I'm, now listen, I know we have infinite power at the moment. I may or may not have forgotten for a second, but that is really good. Because previous, previously, unobtainium was the best solar panel you could get. And that only does 32,000. All right, for tick. So this guy can now be upgraded into a Wyvern 1 or a Wyvern 1. And that, that doubles it. So it's now 65,000. This guy can be turned into Draconic pretty easily. Like if I was, you know, still in the process where I needed power, this is really easy to get. Um, that gives you 260,000 per tick. So per single one of these, which is awesome. And then if you upgrade this guy, which needs a chaotic core, half a mil per tick. And you get two of these bad boys. That is really good. Because think about it. Um, the one that we have does like one mil. Oh, I think it might actually do 10 mil. But even then it does 10 mil. Um, but if we look at the map, it takes up a big area. A big, you need to have four chunks chunk loaded. Like it is a big area. If you could just slap in 10 in a row even, that's it. Like that's the entire solar panel done. That is ridiculous. Okay. Hmm. That, that is very interesting. Um, okay. Solar powered vine tool. What? I'm guessing it generates durability in daylight. That's pretty cool. Um, but once again, not sure what else. Not sure what else. That would be the draconic armor if we wanted to do some of that. This pneumatic craft, the last time we touched pneumatic craft was ATM to the sky. We could touch it again because there's like drones and stuff. I never got, got up to touching those. Um, so that could be fun. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We, we might do some pneumatic craft. I'm thinking we might try out pneumatic craft uh, soon. I, I like the idea of it. They have some really cool, um, what am I trying to say here? They have some really cool visual blocks that like actually, you know, move around and stuff. Um, so they're pretty fun to use. So possibly. We, we, we might do some of that, but once again, let me, let me know. Please do let me know what you want to see. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do consider... I know it's probably a short one. I'm sorry. Um, but I do have a create video coming out soon as well, which is a pretty big one. So if this didn't get you fixed, uh, you can give it a shot. It's another one with um, DG. Um, so another collab video. We had some fun. We uh, checked out some tinkers. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed, please do consider subscribing and liking the video. That stuff helps me out quite a lot. Um, thank you to each and every one of you for supporting me financially. Um, whether you're watching ads, donating, or uh, becoming a channel member. Thank you guys, uh, each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Neep Noop. <laughs> it's always funny to say. Um, Neep Noop. I think I saw Pyro um, or Pyre also donate. I saw that happen. I haven't added the things here. We might have to revamp this area soon, maybe. I, I'm not sure. Um, Thank you, thank you to you guys. Uh, thank you to Gelzio2, Caden, Oracle, Skeletor Jacob, Oasis, Derpy Snow Luna, Mugs, V Roof D, and Coolest, all of who have supported me uh, through donations and channel memberships. And then thank you again to uh, V Roof D, Mugs, and Caden, who were channel members on top of that. And anyone else I may have missed, thank you guys for supporting me. Um, let me know in the comments if I missed you, um, and I'll, I'll make sure to add you next time. Um, yeah, th this place as well. We might also need to make a an area for these because we do have. I know there's podiums, um, at twilight, I stole a podium, I know that much, we should have one of them, here it is, trophy pedestal, that's what, it, that's what it's called, now these guys are cool, because I believe, if I, oh, I just made a big mess, I believe if you'd place it on there, it actually shows the symbol at the, on the front, oh, it actually shows a few symbols, okay, but, but yeah, anyway, as you can see, it's a pretty cool thing, um, so we could set up a pedestal, podium, room, thingy-majiggy. They're not craftable, though. So I would have to go and take them all, which would probably actually be very annoying. Um, oh, look at these miniature portals and stuff that are going to be added to the game soon. They look really cool. Moon dial. Yeah, there's still a lot of stuff we haven't touched on. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this episode. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.